Okay, I have a new toy here. Let me get out of this. It's just called Target One, probably because I expect to make more different kinds. And I'll just go over the features of this one. First thing, it has an on screen control and you can use the offset down here to keyframe the motion of this. When you first apply this to the clip, this is what it looks like. Basic crosshair with a targeting area on it. You can change the fill color and mode. Right now uh, the default is overlay but you can get all kinds of different effects with various other modes. and you can customize the colors of the outlines adjust the opacity the width this line color controls the crosshairs and the hash marks You can change the line opacity. You don't have to have those, but they go all the way across the screen. Wherever they are, it's from top to bottom, left to right. You can't shorten them. The hash opacity, you can change that for an effect. You can change the roundness of the targeting. And if you don't like 50 as a maximum, you can click on it and drag it up. You can scale this. You can change how many points there are for the targeting hash marks. You can change the spread. And you can also click and drag on that so you can drag them out. You notice that as they get outside the targeting area, they disappear so you can have them animated so that they just come in this offset pushes them out it doesn't change their relationship to each other but it changes the starting point of where they are and in combination with the radius they can be completely moved outside of the rectangle area you can change the origin of the angles either by going from center out or edge in and you can scale and you can change the aspect of how they taper so if scale end is a hundred percent they are all going to be equal length and then if scale end is smaller they're going to squeeze down on one end or expand on the other and it will depend on your orientation center or edge so there's a lot of little effects that you can achieve with that in an animation and then the other thing that's here at the bottom is the overlay which is everything outside the targeting rectangle and you can change that and its uh, blend mode for different effects you can download this from the link in the description below anyway have fun with it I'll catch you on the next one